Well, there she is. I'm all ready to go, taking off tomorrow morning, early. Heading up to Oregon for the uh, Giant Loop Rally. The first part of my adventure is done. I'm all packed. So getting kind of excited. I'm sure I won't be able to sleep tonight, but uh, that's just par for the course. And uh, we'll see you later. So here we go. Now starts the riding part of this mini adventure going up to Oregon. So here we are on Interstate 80, uh, heading from Sacramento, going up to uh, Reno, Nevada, then Lovelock, and then uh, the destination for today is Winnemucca. It is just an absolutely glorious day. May 31st, 2023, all the rivers and streams are going full gun, and there's still a ton of water up here in the mountains. But what kind of amazes me is when you think about it, this is part of the California Trail where the pioneers came over these Sierras in wagons, and that just absolutely blows my mind. They came through this canyon, up and over on their way to the gold fields in Sacramento, and then also to uh, do farming and ranching and, and uh, create a new life for themselves. And it was one heck of a trip. We're heading down now, going into Reno, which is the biggest little city in the world. And then from <clears throat> here, we're going to head up towards Lovelock. This is the Truckee River continuing outside of Reno. And on the California Trail, this is where all the pioneers would come. They would come through the 40-mile desert from Lovelock to here with no water, trying to get to this part of the river. Because uh, when you get up here a little ways, it turns and it goes into Pyramid Lake. But they had to get here to restock their water, to feed their cattle, because there's nothing in the 40 mile desert and here it is. It was just an amazing stretch of, of no water. This is where you'd have the wagons and people throwing their stuff away on the sides to lighten up the wagons. You know, people that came after them would find, you know, chairs and pianos or whatever they might have to throw out to uh, get lighter. So it's pretty amazing that they made it through there to the Truckee River. And I'm um, heading up to, uh, this is I-80, going uh, about 80 miles an hour and heading up to Winnemucca for the evening for my first day. What a, what a great, great day. second day I was stopped by road construction about 40 miles outside of Winnemucca on Highway 95. These are the Santa Rosa Mountains and this is what the country around here looks like. It's just this desert and sagebrush. But uh, these mountains provide water. There's streams coming down these things into this valley and the valley looks like this. It's just green ranch land for uh, alfalfa and they also grow vegetables, potatoes and things like that out here. It's just amazing how this country changes with water. Back underway and those clouds off to the left there were thunder boomers that were just beginning in the morning and they were a warning sign for later in the day. Scenic Byway on Highway 178 coming in not too far outside of Crane, Oregon. And I stopped to put the good camera on because it's just gorgeous.
great on arrival, but that night it totally just unloaded on us. 